Hello YouTube, this is Philip20 again today and what I was going to show you is what I've got going on right now. It's about noon. I've got 3.9 kilowatt hours. I'm in absorb mode and it's backing off power. 29.6 uh, total. So we got our charge controller right here. It's running, operating. Currently it's at uh, 55 amps in an absorb mode. Is it absorb at 10 o'clock this morning? Um, so we've got all of our components in here. It's pretty simple. I'll be uh, buttoning this up, these screws. And this device here is a range extender. It is a device that allows me to power uh, Ethernet cable to my charge controller without running another Ethernet cord all the way here. So we got an Ethernet connection here to here which connects to my router. So those two connect and then we've got our fan here. This is our dump exhaust fan that provides <clears throat> fresh air to go inside the battery box and prevents it from filling up with deadly gases that can explode called HHO. Also we've got this here. This is basically all of the paperwork. You know, nice and thick. Got all my paperwork on my solar stuff right here. Every bit of it. And then we got our vent pipe that comes down beside this. This transformer this uh, relay and this is another different relay. It's a 12 volt relay and then this is a 24 volt AC alternating current relay and this is a 24 volt AC transformer. So whenever I turn that on and get it running I'll show you what's going on with that but it, right now it's not important. And then we go down into a 90 and then two more 90's to keep it tucked in close to the wall as we can and then it goes down into the box. Our battery box, which I just recently painted. It's right here is our batteries. We got 12 batteries. So you're looking at um, 16,200 kilowatt. Uh, 16,200 watt hours. Sorry about that. So we got our 16,200 watt hours. I'm only able to use about three kilowatt hours out of it at night before I have to turn it off. So we're running three kilowatt hours at night. Out of that, here's our 6,000 watt Ames pure sine wave low frequency global inverter this thing is a monster this thing can run a huge amount of energy out of it it's at a 17 percent load right now this thing is a monster i can i mean 17 percent load runs a computer to playstation 4s three televisions um two refrigerators that's at 17 percent load not to mention any other plugged in miscellaneous stuff that draws power. Um, so you're looking at an overview of the power inside. We got our wires that come down in here and then two wires go to the battery box and then two wires goes to this inverter. And then if you take a closer look here, we got this right here. This is a range connector and this is an RV connector. This device right here allows me to turn it, pull it out, and there's no terminals on the outside of this connector, which in uh, any situation with this inverter, it outputs power. And I don't want to have a range connector outputting power. So I wanted to make my own RV connector. Um, this thing is great. So I just, unplug it whenever I'm not using it or I can leave it plugged in but the power goes over and up and all the way across to the top over there let's take a look here's our breaker panel right here 
it goes all the way across the ceiling and then this breaker does nothing it has nothing connected to it the power coming from the uh, inverter goes right here it turns on and off right there and uh, if this switch is all the way to the right that means we're powering from solar if it's all the way this switch is all the way to I said that wrong if this switch is all the way left then that pushes this bar right here pushes this breaker off if this is on so I can never back feed power because of this bar here and then whenever I'm done with the uh, the emergency backup I switch this back over and it flips this breaker off and turns this one on which is powered by this breaker in this panel so if we look here we got this breaker that's powered by this breaker whenever I need it I just flip it on whenever I don't need it I flip it over and I mean basically I could just turn this off and you see there's still power running and that's the main breaker that's down that's off nothing's happening we're not using any right here see it's completely off using zero power for the house so I mean I can just take a quick walk through my lights are running everything's still running look is my refrigerator running? refrigerator's running Lots in here. Yep, that main breaker's off. Do we got lots in here? Yeah. Full table room. And then here's my game room and editing area. So basically, we're looking at you know two TVs running, you know all this stuff going on. Game computer. It's a mess. He can't get no progress done when everything's all super tidy. Cool knife, I like it. Gosh, I'm throwing stuff all over the place, ain't it? Pretty cool knife, I like it. That does stuff, I got, uh, don't never buy one of these cameras. They're junk. This camera sucks. And there's Warframe video game, and I'm looking at YouTube stuff. But yeah, let's go outside and take a closer look at what's going on. Just want you guys to see that we're running stuff in the house. I can go upstairs and show you more stuff that's running, but what good is that? Like I said, that breaker's off. Yeah, I need to mow my yard. But I don't mow it unless my wife's at home. So she can watch the kids. I don't want the kids to get tangled up in a terrible accident. But there you go. There's 3,000 watts of solar power. YouTube, this is cool. I really appreciate you taking a look at this channel. Um, I got a lot more stuff going on here in the future. Uh, you know. Oh, look. If you can't see real close. Look who's that. That's my little girl. Here she is. Well, I guess I need to go back inside and take a look at some other stuff. Thank you, YouTube, for watching my channel come back real soon I'm making real good power this is guns games and racing no holler y'all later